Hey guys, Hardy here from ecomhardy.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you and talk about one application which actually blew my mind. This application is called Flex Pricing and it is specially made for WordPress and WooCommerce users. So if you are a WooCommerce user, make sure you watch this video till the end because this will help you to increase your revenue by even 20, 30, 40%, whatever limit you set. And the good thing is you do not even have to target to increase the per unit sales. So if you are selling 1000 unit per month, with the 1000 unit per month, you can increase the revenue itself. Or even with this application, it will help you to achieve even more sales with some flexible pricing settings. So if you think like I confused you, do not worry. Let's dive into and let me show you step by step. So if you go to flexpricing.com, it will take you to this homepage where it shows this kind of homepage, dynamic pricing to maximize revenue. And basically what this tool or application do is it solves the biggest problem in e-commerce pricing. If you might know that McDonald's, Big Mac cost different in different states of United States. Massachusetts, $7.09. In Wyoming, it's like $4.19. And different locations, it's even different price. This application is allowing you to connect to WooCommerce with the help of the WooCommerce dedicated plugin. So what kind of pricing rules you can set with the plugin? Shopper attribute based pricing, where you can set the pricing rule depends on the what kind of operating system your user is using. There is a study done and found that Mac and Apple users could spend more money compared to Windows and Android users. Just imagine if you set the pricing rule depends on the operating system, it's a win-win case for your business. Time and date based pricing. Implement the pricing rule based on the day of the week, time of the day, and for holidays. Shopper's income based pricing. This is amazing. So if your shopper income is lower than $100,000, just imagine, you set your product's prices lower. If your shopper's yearly income is above 100 or 150 or something, you can increase the prices of your products to like 20%, 25%, whatever range you want to set to. It's it's nearly like, it's blowing my mind, but it is true. Stock and shipping based pricing. So just imagine if the item is overstock and if you want to liquidate the stock, you can set the lower price and that way you can sell out very quickly. If the item is in low stock, then it is possible that it is premium item or if you want to sell with premium prices, then yes, you can increase the prices for that particular item if the stock goes below a certain point. And you do not have to do manually. Everything is auto set. Once you set the rule, done. You do not have to worry about, it will adjust everything automatically. AI based pricing. So that is coming soon, but most likely what I can see is the machine learning program can set and refine the prices of your products and make sure you increase the revenue or maximize the revenue to the limit. Now, without wasting any further time, let's dive into it. To create an account on Flex Pricing, it's simple, start for free, click here. If you already have an account, you can click to sign in, but if you do not have an account, then fill out these details. So let me fill it out. In the store URL, you give your WooCommerce store URL. Make sure you add the HTTPS and then sign up. So you need to verify your email address as well. So the email address would look something like this one. Simply verify email, confirm your email address, and then you just need to log in. Once you log in, the welcome page would look something like this one, where you can see all the support information and the pricing rule information here. If you click to dashboard, you will see something like this, where you will see total number of products without active pricing rule and all the other data. If you have already connected the store or not, it will show here. The pre-made pricing rule are also provided directly on the dashboard, which is good. All the announcements you can check on the dashboard as well. If you click here on your profile, you can see your profile. You can check the plans, your stores and log out. So if you click to plans, you can try this application for 30 full days for free of cost just by clicking to start 30 days free trial. There are three plans here, startup, growth and enterprise. So startup plan gives you one store, whereas the growth plan gives you three stores. And all the plans have unlimited pricing rules, which is great. 
you can use this application for maximum 50,000 monthly visitors. Whereas the growth plan, you can use this application for maximum 100,000 monthly visitors, which is great. Now, if you go to yearly subscription, then you get two months free. So just imagine if your store revenue is around $10,000 per month, $99 per month is just nothing. But with the help of this tool, you might achieve or even boost your revenue at least $1,000 extra. So it is a win-win, but let's see, let's dive right into it and see how you can achieve that thing. So once I select the start 30 days trial, it will ask you to confirm your selection and then select yes. And it will ask you to fill out the information like your card payment. Now let me assume that you already signed up to start a plan and now you want to connect your WooCommerce store. So let's see how you can do that. So let me click to dashboard here and then connect your store. So click connect now and it will provide you all the information. So first of all, download the zip file and save to desktop, which is actually a plugin. You simply click to this arrow, down arrow. So I click to that and it will start downloading the flex pricing zip file, which is the WordPress plugin. Once you download that, simply go to your WordPress website. So let me open it. Once you go to your WordPress admin panel dashboard, simply go to plugins and add new plugin click to that and here upload plugin choose file and this is the file you just downloaded from flexpricing.com so simply double click on that and install now and once the file is installed simply activate the file once you activate the plugin go and check out your plugin flex pricing settings you can also achieve these settings from going to left hand side panel settings and then flex pricing and here you will find this option call store api key where you can find this key Simply go back to the flex pricing and here when you scroll down, there is the step number three where the API key is provided. So simply click to this and it will copy the API key. Once you copy the API key, you go back to your WordPress and paste the key here and then save changes. Once you save the changes, simply taste the connection and you see here successfully connected with flex pricing, which is good. Now, once the connection is established, you see here on the step four, it says wait 30 minutes for products catalog to import the flex pricing data. So after 30 minutes, once the connection is established, it will start importing the products to the flex pricing platform. And if you go to your flex pricing dashboard, you can see here, you can check your website or store from here. The connection status would be showing like connected. And here you will see total number of products with active pricing rule zero, without active pricing rule 29, total unique pricing rules are created zero. Now here on the dashboard, they have already given four templates or pre-made pricing rule templates. But if you want to access to more pre-made pricing rules, you can simply go to left hand side menu, click to pre-made pricing rules. And here you can access six total pricing rule templates or pre-made pricing rules. Out of six, whichever one you want to copy to your store, it is very quick and easy setup. Simply click to copy my store. So just imagine I want to set the income based pricing rule. Then I would simply click to copy to my store and confirm copy and it will be copied straight away. Once it's copied, you can make changes here. So like the income estimate of location greater than 165,000, then price will be increased by 10%. Instead of 10%, I want to actually increase to 15%. Income estimate of location is between 125,000 to 164,999. Then I want to increase the price of my product to 10%. Now income estimate of location is between 75 to 124,999, then zero. Income estimate of location is 50,000 to 74,999. Then I would like to decrease the price to 5%. Income estimate is lower than 49,999. Then decrease the price to 10%. Once I'm happy with the rule, I just save changes, click save. Okay, create another pricing rule or copy directly from the template. So shipping distance based rule, I would like to create this rule. I simply click copy to my store, confirm copy. Once I confirmed, I can check and verify. So if the distance from the store is less than equal to 500 miles, the price would be decreased by 10%. If the distance from the store is between 501 to 1000, price would decrease by 5%. Distance from the store is between 1001 to 1500, the price decreased to zero, so would be the same price. If the store distance is between 1500 to 2000, the price increase would be 
10%. Distance from the store is above 2000, then I would like to charge 15% extra. Once I'm happy with the rule, I just save changes and voila, it's done. Now let me create my own pricing rule as well. So how you can create it? Simply go to pricing rules and here you will find all the pricing rules you just created. Click to create a new pricing rule. Now just imagine if I want to create the specific pricing rule, depends on the mobile phone users. So Android users, description, Android users, 10% off. Okay, and then create. Once you create that, it will show up something like this. Do not worry. What you have to do is here, yeah, click to pick ident users operating system select that so operating system is one of androids or you can add windows as well if you want to then the price will decrease by 10 percent but i want to make this rule a little bit complex so what i can do is i add the condition and here instead of operating system what i'll do is distance from my store is less than 500. Now I want to add another condition. So add if the operating system is one of the Androids of Windows, distance from the store is less than 1500, then the price will decrease by 5%. I want to add another rule, which is like, if the operating system is not one of these, like not Android or Windows, that means if it's Apple or iOS. I don't want to add this condition as well. So I just remove that condition. Then flat out like the operating system is not one of the Androids of Windows. The price will increase to 5%. And I'm happy with this rule. So I just save changes and that's it. If I go to pricing rules, now I have created three pricing rules here. These two are the default one, the first two, and the third one I created myself. So let's make some changes to income based rule. So click to ID. And here, if you want to add any condition, you can always add. So just imagine the price increase here. So user operating system is not Android or Windows or other iOS. So that means user operating system is iOS or Mac. You can also create something like one of the iOS or Mac, okay? The price will increase to 15% extra. I want to add another one. So if add another one here, income estimate is greater than 165000. And if the operating system user, so add condition here, operating system is one of the Android or Windows. Well, we created already like for iOS and Mac. So this time it's Android and Windows, only 10%, not 15% like this one, okay? So you can modify the rules accordingly, whatever your needs are, and you can add as many conditions as you want. Once you are happy with the rule, what you have to do is now implement those rules to your products. And how to implement? Let's see. So let me click to products here. Now let me implement the pricing rule to this product, multi-purpose three-hole Chinese chef knife. Copy this product. And let me show you in the front end of my website. So if I search in k3kitchen.com, it looks something like this one. So this product is available for $35 for everyone. Doesn't matter who purchased from United States. Okay, now we are gonna modify with the pricing rules. If you want to apply, just imagine if I want to apply the pricing rule from distance base, the main thing you have to do is go to your store settings so right click open it, let me close the extra access tabs. And here on the store settings, make sure under the store address, make sure you provide your store address. If you do not provide, then the distance based pricing rule will not work. So be mindful. Also in future, if you want to access to your store API key, you can directly access from here. Once you added the store address, make sure you save changes. Once you save, go back. And here I want to apply the distance based pricing rule. So I click to that, click to its variation as well. And once I click to the main product and variation, click to action and apply the pricing rule to selection. And here I have to select shipping distance based pricing rule. Once I select that, apply. Yes, once I applied, it won't show anything, only it will see something like the pricing rule is available for this product. Now I want to activate the pricing rule for this particular product. What I'll do is I select the main product and variation, action, 
and set the selection to active. Once I confirm that, you can see here pricing rule is active. By the way, if you want to apply to all products, you simply select all and then action, apply pricing rule, and then whatever pricing rule you want to apply to all products, you can set. And then once after it's set, you can select all products again and then activate the pricing rule. But let's test only for this particular product so we know what's happening. Now to test it properly, let me open my VPN and select the, yeah, Los Angeles would be a great option because you can see here under the store settings, the Illinois is the store location address. So Los Angeles can be very far from the Illinois, which is good. So what I'll do is I go to my hide VPN settings and select the VPN for Los Angeles, enable it. Once it's active, now VPN is active. Let me minimize that and open the product. Okay, now if I copy this link and open in new tab, you will see the pricing rule is affecting to this particular product and the price would be changed. So you can see before it was showing $35 flat, but because now I am acting as a customer who is visiting your store from Los Angeles, it is showing $38 price. Amazing, right? Now you can see distance-based pricing is working. If I add to cart, it will show $38.50 and then I can check out as the same price. So if I am a Los Angeles customer, I have to pay this price, which is good thing for your store as well because the shipping cost would be higher if you ship from Illinois to Los Angeles. Now let me also create another pricing rule and see what we can do. So go to pre-made pricing rule here and other pricing rules are inventory based pricing rule, device based pricing rule, TOD based pricing rule and state CPI based pricing rule. Let's set the device based pricing rule from the pre-made settings. So copy to my store and here it says like operating system is Android, then decrease 5%. If operating system is iOS, increase 5%. Operating system is Mac increase 5%, operating system is Windows, decrease 5%, okay? So this rule is good. What we can do is now save changes. And now let's test to another product. Go to products here. Now let's see, just imagine if I want to apply the pricing rule for this particular product. So I select that and the variation, apply the pricing rule selection. And here device based rule, apply, yes. And then again, go to check out that particular product. So let me copy the name of this product and action and set selection as active. Once you activate that selection, you can see here it's active now. Let me go to the front end of the website, search for that particular product here. And now you can see the product price is 121. By the way, at any point, if you face any difficulties, you can simply go to the support section of these left hand side menu. And here you can check out all the available video tutorials which will help you to fix the issue as soon as possible. You can also check out their frequently asked question page where you will find all questions answered. And if you still do not find the answer of your question or the trouble you are facing, then you can always fill out this support form with your details and send the message. In multiple occasions, I have contacted them actually three times by far. And all the time, this response was amazing. Actually, they replied me within like 24 hours in during weekdays. So this way you can optimize each product separately, or if you want to apply the bulk rule to all products, then also you can apply the pricing rule. This strategy is being used by all the big companies like McDonald's, DoorDash, Uber and all. And you might not even know, but it is working for those companies for a long time. And they are making a lot of extra money with this strategy without even affecting the customers. And without using this kind of tool, you would not know what you're missing out. So I thought this is the best time to share to my viewers and subscribers so they can take an advantage of it. Hope you enjoy watching this video, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment me in the comment box below. Also subscribe to this channel if you are here for the first time and hit the bell icon so you will get notified as soon as I upload the new video. Thumbs up to this video. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.